Hey guys, Anthony the Rad Company, and welcome to another garage tour where today we are here with the one, the only, Freddie Tavarish. What's How up, dude? Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming by. So we are in a transitional period here at the Wrench Everyday HQ because we're moving shops today. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna get a sneak peek at what we're doing, and uh, you're gonna see me in my element, which is uh, dirty and sweaty. Nice. It's it's not it's not how it usually is. Okay. It's that's always how I am. Uh, so come on in, come on in. All right. So here we are. We've been here before. Yes. But it was quite some time ago, yes. and nothing was really in here except for a black Bentley and a few other random things, lifts yes. and whatnot, but it's changed quite a bit. It has, but it's changed quite a bit since then because uh, the usual configuration of this was five four post lifts all on this side. Yep. Uh, but now we have removed those because now we're gonna be putting in a bunch of stacker lifts because this is gonna be our detailing garage. Like this is, oh. this entire space is just gonna be made for finishing and detailing cars, which you are really excited about. I mean, I mean, uh, hopefully by using premium detailing products available from the rag company, right? Of course, and use code to Varish for 150% off. We don't know it, if that code actually works. That's actually. gonna, that, it's gonna that, work. You, you made that up right now. It's that, gonna work all the time. Not okay. true. So right. anyway, yeah. moving on. So uh, in here, we're gonna talk about what you've done with the flooring because that was something you've done since then. Uh, we're gonna talk about how the lighting is. We're gonna talk about what improvements you wanna make, uh, short-term goals, long-term goals, uh, et cetera, and things like that. So uh, first and foremost, the floors. These actually look a lot better. What do you do for these? So these floors are actually a, um, it's called a rock res coating. And uh, it was put on by a company called Cimarron Coatings. And uh, they're a company out in Michigan, like around the, the Detroit area. And they came by and installed all all of this in this 5,200 square foot shop. Uh, so it's it's not as nice as it could be because we've been moving stuff in and out. I mean, we've been working on this for the better part of four years and it's it's actually quite nice. So there's no clear coat or anything on the top. It's an epoxy coating yeah. and it has like this deep shine once you clean it off uh, because you know we're gonna we're gonna want it to be nice and shiny for all the pictures and B-roll and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But you know what? I would say considering everything that gets done in this shop, all the different things, yes. this still looks pretty dang good. It's not It's not too bad, and especially on camera, the camera hides a lot of crimes, so this looks perfectly fine for YouTube. Now, this also contrasts with the, uh, the lighting. I put up, I mean, just the cheapest four foot LEDs that you can get on Amazon, but they're still kicking, and uh, they're regular 110 volt uh, bulbs. They're non-dimmable, but they don't flicker, which is really important for me as a uh, content creator. Absolutely, so I actually think it works out pretty well. Surprising, surprising that it's this bright in here, but you know what, with this many, right? Yes. You can make, you can make magic happen. So. I think so. Um, so stepping into here, well obviously we have all the different car projects, the yes. P1, the famous P1, still, a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress in here, especially that car. So for those of you that don't know, that's a 2015 McLaren P1 that you probably saw on Instagram and TikTok floating down the street when Hurricane Ian, uh, well, basically went into the garage and took it away with gigantic flood water. So um, I bought that not knowing what I was getting myself into. And now that I know, I probably shouldn't have done that, but you know, we're too far in now. So we're trying to make the fastest McLaren in the world with that car, 1300 ho wheel horsepower and about 260, 270 miles an hour, hopefully. Sounds like a good time. You know Sounds like I mean? a good time. Sounds like it'll be done really quickly. It'll be yes. a really easy project yeah. to do. It's super easy to do, no speed bumps at all whatsoever. And honestly, it's, it's a budget build, right? So the cost is pretty low. Super low. Yeah. So, I mean, this is something, I know people think that these cars are expensive. They're really not. They're very attainable. Yeah. You know, you just go down to your local bank and say, hey, uh, here are all the kids that I could have. Yeah. And then I'll just sign those over to you. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be like, okay, we'll assign a number value and, and whatever. And yeah. it's, it's pretty easy to do. And the trade-off happens just like that. Honestly, not too far from having a Honda Civic. It really is. It's the same thing. You same know? thing, pretty much. Yeah. So anyways, uh, this right here is a familiar car to us as we were working on that just uh, probably a couple days ago. Yes. Um, and that turned out pretty amazing. Now, the rest of here actually had some lifts in it. Those are out now. Yeah. And now you've created so much more room for activities. Are you going to do cartwheels, yoga, well, anything like that? Well, I know looking at me, I do a lot of cartwheels and a lot of yoga. Uh, but no, unfortunately, no. Uh, we're actually going to leave all this open because what we're planning on doing is we're doing like a, a Jay Leno's garage style, like giant softbox in here. 
Uh, so that way, when we clean the floors and they'll be nice and shiny, we can put a car in here and we put that soft box on and it'll just be like cheating when it comes to B-roll. So if we finish a car, we'll put it in here, take all the beauty shots we can. Uh, but along the walls here, I got Ben Pack auto stackers and uh, they are just parking lifts and we have 10 of them. So we're just gonna be putting them all along the wall. That way in the background of all these really nice shots, you're gonna see all the finished cars and hopefully it'll all work out well and it'll all look good. Yeah. In my brain, it'll look good. You know what's even cooler than all these cars? Knowledge. And that means you should subscribe to The Rag Company right now. I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. You know, glamour shots by Deb over here in the corner. Yes. are gonna be amazing. <laughs> Uncle Rico, just, you know, yeah. hand under the chin. I think that's mm -hmm. gonna turn out really nice. Yeah, yeah. We, there's a little Rex Quando in here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this will be changed here pretty soon, actually probably really soon considering how fast they've been working. They got a bunch of friends, bunch of crew people here kind of back behind us uh, helping in and really uh, making the process go along. So over here, mm -hmm. um, we is this staying the same? No, no, so, so we have a two post lift uh, here, but that is not staying that way. Uh, we're just removing this and putting it in the other shop, which you guys are gonna see in a little bit. Um, but this is uh, going bye-bye, and we're just having all auto stackers from that wall to this wall. But the really cool thing is over here, like where this, uh, where this car uh, cover, what well, car under a cover is, we're gonna have a light tunnel for detailing. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna have a light tunnel and a yeah. scissor lift. Ooh, yeah. I like both of those things. Yes. That's gonna be a good time, right? I think so, yeah. As a detailer, I, I kinda like that kind of stuff, and you know, I'm, I'm sure uh, it'll be a nice, right when you walk in, it's gonna be something that catches your eye. Yes. It's, gonna, it's gonna really show off the gloss and all the hard work. Mm -hmm. So um, over here is kind of the lounge area. Now this right here, just because people are gonna wanna know, there's a lot of wiring. Yes, so let, let, me, let me walk you through it. Okay. Uh, so this big uh, chungus over here, uh, on the right is a stock wiring harness, a chassis wiring harness for a McLaren P1. Okay. You can't really get them from McLaren. Uh, they're actually, they're expensive. They're about $16,000, uh, but 16 grand is not a bad amount of money to spend if you wanna get all this brand new. Yeah. The problem is it takes about a year to get. So I don't have that kind of time. So we are making a new harness and we have a harness from a 650S, which is an older McLaren. And then we have a 720S, which is a newer McLaren. And we're putting those together and hopefully they do this and, uh, and then the car will work. Yeah. That's how it works in my head. Yep. I, don't, I don't, I really don't know what I'm doing, but it's gonna be fun. Stress, S-T-R-E-S-S. -S. Wow. Woo, Stress. yeah. That's great. So I'm really hoping that that works out for you. I wouldn't even really know where to start, nor would I ever even tackle that kind of project. So it's it's a Honda. It's a Honda. That is kind of like uh -huh. a Honda. Yes, of course. Yeah. So over here in the back, we have tools, we have storage, we have things like that. Yeah. Uh, things that you guys are using on a daily basis for yes. a little bit of anything and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, we have hardware uh, and we have stuff that we absolutely need to categorize. Uh, we got a sandblaster, we got our air compressor over there, uh, and we have a bunch of storage. And all this stuff is gonna get cleaned up because right now, you know, we've just been kind of, like me and all the other guys at the shop, have been working over ourselves, like, you know, stepping on each other's toes, and we don't want to do that. Now that we have two shops and we can separate everything, I think it'll make a lot more sense to have everything clean and in its place, and hopefully I will put all my tools back and I probably won't, though. Absolutely. So uh, you have tons of carbon fiber pieces, right, from the P1. You have all sorts of different kind of goodies here. Um, but again, everything will kind of be sorted, cleaned up as you go along, because what I think, when I see this kind of stuff, and when I see this kind of stuff, I go, something has gone right. Right. right, you've you've accomplished something, maybe right? along the line, maybe right? yeah, maybe possibly, yeah. So that's good. So then coming over this way, this stuff's all going to be rearranged. Yeah. Uh, bathrooms over there, mm -hmm. and then uh, mystery car underneath here. I don't really know what this is. That is uh, the the remnants of an Audi R8 V10 plus. Remnants, nice. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, I mean, budget build. She uh, she's she's seen some better days. Huh. Yeah. So th there you go. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much all we need to see to kind of understand yeah. that. So we have the hangout over the area over there, TV, whatnot, kind of a little editing station over there, which is really cool. Yes. And so uh, is there somewhere else you want to take us along to check out as well? Yeah. Come with me. I, I can't. Do we do that, that? So we don't, ha we don't have that transition that no? does that. No. So. 
Welcome to the other shop. This is part two of Wrench Everyday HQ 2.0. And uh, this is a shop that is right next to the other shop. It used to be a hot rod speed shop, and this is gonna be the mechanics shop. This is gonna be the uh, sort of uh, dirty area. So we're gonna do all our mechanic bits and our uh, the metal working stuff and the body working stuff and stuff that you usually need a respirator for. Uh, and right now we've had all the lifts put in. Yeah. Uh, this is not their sort of final locations, um, but we just got this guy installed, the new Benpack 10,000 pound two post. And uh, this is their brand new one, which is really, really cool. I can't wait to use this. It hasn't been wired in just yet. But we're gonna have a two post here, a big four post here, and another two post here. We're gonna have another two post over there. And we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, we have five four posts in here and Jeez. three two posts. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna, gonna crazy. be crazy. It's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a wrenching good time. Yeah. Okay, so obviously we got tons of goodies over there, posts or lifts and all that stuff right over there. Yeah. And then back in here, we have some pretty cool cars, some familiar ones that we've seen. Yes. And, and you know, in TRC related things, right? You mm -hmm. know, maybe a, a SEMA car or two. Everybody rem remembers the McLaren, obviously. Yeah. Blue, the beautiful. McLaren, uh, the Supra, the blue Supra that you guys had in the booth, yep. and also the Porsche, the uh, ultraviolet Porsche that was in your booth in the last SEMA. So uh, this is Matt Armstrong's baby. This is the 2012, 13, I actually don't know what year it is, uh, but it is an RS6 that we did not get here in the States. Uh, it is right-hand drive. It has about 650-ish wheel horsepower. And uh, I don't know if you can notice this, but it is a little bit wider than stock. Just a little, just a little bit. Yeah. Just, just slightly wider than stock. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, so his motto is hard work beats talent. Yeah. And uh, he put that on the tires. Uh, except for the fact that the T's fell off, so it says hard work beats Allen. I don't know, I don't know who's Allen, <laughs> but apparently Matt doesn't like that yeah, does. guy named Allen. Does not like Allen. No. We're not, not an Allen guy. No. So obviously, Freddie, you've got some pretty just amazing cars in here. I mean, a bunch of good stuff. I That kind of catches my eye the quickest, but you know, just a, being a Honda guy here. That is not my car, unfortunately. I, know. I really, really, really like that car. Maybe maybe you could make it your car. I could, I could, with enough money and uh, yeah, anything, Man, anything is possible. Hondas, right? It's just like a McLaren P1. Mm -hmm. Same thing, same yeah. realm. Except no turbos and it's front wheel drive and it makes 160 horsepower. No words. Shh. Okay. No words. Anyways, so out of all the cars here, right? I mean, obviously you have a bunch of cool stuff. You worked on a cool stuff. You had a lot of cool stuff that has kind of come and gone over the years, yes. right? Would you say that you have like a top two, top three out of everything here in the garage? Yeah, I would say McLaren 675 LT. Okay. That is my favorite car. No, number one, just to look at, it is it is stunning. I mean, I think the P1 is probably gonna take that when we're uh, when we're done with it. Yeah. But right now the 675 LT, I love the way it looks. I love the way it drives. It's really, really, really stupid fast. Yeah. Um, but then I would say that Porsche 911 GT3, yep. it is by far the best manual car I have ever driven. Like, and it's not even close. Yeah. I thought that, oh, it's just a six cylinder. It doesn't have much torque. Mm -hmm. All that is wrong. It goes to 9,000 RPM. It sounds like a racing motorbike. It, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. So anybody that can ever, like, if you have the ability to drive that car, do it because it will ruin you. Don't think about it, just do it. Just do it. You might have to go on in 60 seconds it, but just do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't steal cars, how about that? Oh yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Anyways, yeah, don't don't come here. So anyways, in <laughs> one, wait, one more car, one more car you could pick out of everything here. Aston Martin DBS. So that is my money no object dream car. I never thought I'd be able to afford it. And uh, I was in a really good spot about three years ago when COVID just hit. Uh, nobody knew where the car market was going and I ended up getting that for the equivalent of not, like $95,000. And now they're like 170, 180 grand. Yeah. And the reason why it's so expensive is because that is the last big body Aston Martin to have a manual transmission. So, and this, it sounds like an old F1 car. We have an exhaust on it and it just, I love driving it. It's a good daily. It's really comfortable. Uh, it's a great road trip car, other than you can't fit two carry-ons in it, but you know, it's good. Yeah, a couple groceries here and there. It's uh, fine. A couple bags of milk. Yes. Right? Just bags of milk. Are you Canadian? Uh, possibly. Yeah. So who knows? Now, everything else in here is basically pretty functional, right? We have a small little kind of tool area over there. We got some more tool chests over here, um, but probably all the tools from the other shop are gonna be coming over here. Yeah, they're gonna be coming over here. We're trying to outfit that whole side with uh, maybe lev racks or something, uh, like some sort of like a modular rack situation because we're gonna be taking cars apart 
fully and we need a place to put those things. So this shop is only gonna be for projects we're currently working on. Um, the issue that we had with the other shop, having everything there, was that we had a bunch of projects that were just on the back burner and they were taking up space. So fortunately, I got two other shops down the street and they're smaller, they're smaller shops and they're just used for storage. So we have a few cars there, but those are the uh, kind of like long-termers, like we'll get to it when we get to it. Yeah. So these cars, I mean, the, the nice cars are gonna go in that shop and then here we're just gonna have the in, you know, in-betweeners. In, in process. Is in process, Very correct. Cool. Okay, so I really dig the shop. I think that both of them are amazing. I'm excited to see the progress as things go along. Uh, maybe next year we'll swing by, say hi again, see what the updates are. Next year? Next year. Well, Come by in two weeks, dude. It's great. It's Florida. I hear in Idaho, it's pretty cold, right? It is cold and it's and it's dark and it's Just cloudy. Just stay here. We got Disney World. Yep. We got gators. Ooh. We got wings. Oh, I, chicken wings? Chicken. We got chicken wings. I love chicken wings. We got gator wings too, probably. Oh, haven't had those. Yeah, maybe next me neither, time. but I mean, that sounds like a thing that I, we probably have. I like a lot of the Florida things, Good. for sure. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what we can pencil in, but obviously we've had a ton of fun here. So uh, quick little last takeaway. So hopefully within a year, we're gonna see some major improvements here. This is gonna be the mechanic shop. Over there is gonna be the detailing specific shop. Yes. It's gonna be the beauty shop, the everything. Mm -hmm. And um, this is going to, I think, I mean, for the channel, right? For your channel, yeah. uh, for the other channels as well, it's gonna make a pretty big difference. I think so. Um, you know, I, I always think about how I'm gonna get to the next level. Yep. I think this is how we do it. And uh, I have a really good team behind me. It's not just me doing all this. What, um, are, you yeah. are, are you sure? Yeah, because I, I, I don't know if you know this, this stuff is heavy and I need help. I need help lifting this stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, I have a really good team with me. Uh, Tommy, my cameraman, Rex, the detailer who makes all this possible and uh, Jack and, and then we have another Jack over there. All these guys, they're, they're behind the scenes. They're, they're working really, really hard uh, to, to just make this all a reality. So without them, I'd be, no, I'd be working in my two car garage. You would, you would. And uh, this has come a long way and everybody has put in a ton of work. So happy to see where things have gone. Uh, excited to see where things are gonna be going. Uh, so Freddie, thank you so much for having us. Dude, thank you and so much. As always, for everybody else watching, if you guys enjoy seeing the shop tours, the garage tours, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rag Company. Cool, bye-bye.